this is not only is this a summer hit but this is just like a, a rap hit um i think this is a really really good 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 verse and anyone who's still i think anyone who's still sleeping on asap ferg and nikki linking up you're missing out on a lot hi guys welcome back to my channel this is another one of my no ghostwriter videos follow no underscore ghostwriter on twitter and instagram for 24 7 rap and hip-hop talk and be sure to leave a comment like this video and subscribe if you like this reaction that i'm doing today so today i'm reacting to move your hips um, by asap ferg featuring Nicki minaj and made in tokyo so i have been excited for this collab for a long time the barbs have been excited for this for a while a snippet of this song actually leaked and you can find it on my instagram page at no underscore ghostwriter and I shared a snippet and I said you know I'm really excited because this is the third time that ASAP Ferg is linking up with the Queen on the same track and I really like that they're both from New York they've got that New York rapport in celebration of this song I've also done a video about ASAP Ferg and sort of my favorite music from him and a bit about him as an artist so if you're a barb and you want to get a bit more into ASAP Ferg or if you're just hearing about ASAP Ferg for the first time with this reaction check out that video I think you'll like it the thing I really like about ASAP Ferg is he's a rapper he's got a really great fashion perspective which I also talked about um, in my video but he's a rapper rapper he um, really actually is the only man I've ever thought possibly maybe could have come close to bodying Nicki on a verse on their song they did together for the Creed 2 soundtrack running um, and I go and do a full verse breakdown of that song and talk about why I really liked his verse so I I'm similarly excited to hear things like that from Ferg. I really already liked him as a rapper. I really already respected his pen. So to see what else he comes up with is really good. And obviously it's the queen, so I'm extremely excited. So I'm gonna stream this on Tidal because we support black business. Um, and Nikki owns a share in Tidal, so that's very exciting. Um, and we're gonna listen to the song and then I'm gonna react to it. Okay. So ASAP Ferg's verse, straight off the bat, his flow is sick. This is exactly what I said I liked about him in the video I did about him. He, he has such a good flow and he is really like hammering every point home in every bar. I really think that this is the exact kind of song that I like to see with ASAP Ferg and Nicki Minaj because it's big New York energy, like Plain Jane remix, like Running. It's real New York and in New York, they they talk their they talk their mess on their songs like New York is all about the flex and I love that he's bringing that energy um he's just very straight up matter of fact diamonds all on my gums um and I like that you know he's talking about his grills I style talking my shit I got runs is really funny because he's referring to like you know the runs diarrhea and then you're talking your shit so he's talking his shit so much that it's like running out of his mouth but he's also talking this shit because he's comparing it to having runs. Okay, you get it? You get it. Hold in, my, hold in my jeans like I'm grunge. Now, this is what I said in my video that I did about him as well. I like his fashion point of view and his fashion perspective. If you're interested in learning more about that, then click the video. Um, but I really like that he's referencing this. You know, fashion guys, they always love their jeans. They're very obsessed with jeans. So he's saying, hold in my jeans like I'm grunge. So he's wearing, you know, fashionable, trendy, distressed jeans. And he's making a reference to the 90s grunge fashion movement, which I think is really cool. So 90s grunge fashion, Kurt Cobain, Nirvana. I think he's just showing the range that he's got in terms of fashion references. So I think that's cool. Can't read the next line because of monetization. Pockets is fat like the clumps. Um, so the clumps, a classic Eddie Murphy film where he plays the members of an overweight family. So I like that classic reference to black cinema that he's got in there. Rappers is looking like lunch. I'm making a meal when I munch. This is definitely my part, my, one of my favorite parts of the verse. I say that because, first of all, I love the pockets is flat like the pockets is fat like the clumps. I like that part. But rappers is looking like lunch. I'm making a meal. I'm making a meal when I munch. So there's a lot of things to get into. First of all, rappers is looking like lunch. That's your standard. You know, he's saying, look, you're all looking like food. I can eat you up. Um, and that's a theme that Nikki's uh, revisits on her verse. But we'll get to that. Um, I'm making a meal when I munch. So he's saying even when he takes time out to eat, his passive income is so packed in that he's still making a lot of money even when he's eating food. And I particularly like the use of meal because it could be meal. 
as in a million and it could be meal like a meal so I'm making a meal I'm making a meal I like when the word could go either way got a new loft in Harlem no Fergie ain't moved to LA so I like that one because it fit, it fits with move your hips okay when I be when when I be leaving she tell me to stay oh so it fits with that um, but I also like he's sort of rapping New York he's saying look I got a new loft apartment in Harlem I didn't leave the city and from what I know about New York if it's anything like London uh, it's very expensive to get real estate so it's really it, it's really like it's a flex you know I've got a new loft in Harlem um, Fergie ain't moved to LA so he's clearing up the rumors he's still New York uh, Burberry on my collar diamonds they still in my face um, so he's referencing his, his girls again, um, but he's also talking about Burberry, the luxury fashion house, and referencing, you know, just his fashion knowledge and prowess. So shout out to that. Now, Nikki's verse is so hard, um, and I love it. Okay, okay. Nikki killed that. Um, so let's start from the top with Nikki's verse because I loved it and I think she really, really killed that. Okay, so. Let's get ready. We're about to do a Nikki verse. You gotta get into the right mindset when you're dissecting Nikki bars. You got you don't just jump into that. You need to mentally be ready. Okay. All of you bitches is food, straight off the bat. Um and I love her flow. Like when gangster Nikki comes out, it's so good. So I love it. She came out um and she came hard from the start. Um, this is the same New York big energy that we had on Running, that we had on Plain Jane Remix. Um, and this is exactly what I love when ASAP Ferg and Nikki get together. I love the fact that they bring that New York energy. This is how rappers should rap, period. Um, all of you bitches is food, straight off the bat, I'm eating you up. If you the ops, you're gonna be singing the blues. So that's a reference to the blues, the music genre that, you know, is when you're in your feelings, you're sad, you sing the blues. Um, so if you're the ops, if you're an opponent, then you're gonna be singing the blues, as in Nikki's gonna get you and it's not ending well for you. Um, feeling like Bishop and Juice. Now, this is a reference to a classic piece of black cinema again. So this is the second theme that we've got. Um, from what I see, the IMD description for Juice, um, released in 1992, says four inner city teenagers get caught up in the pursuit of power and happiness, which they refer to as the Juice, and they um, attempt a bank robbery. So if you look at that, sign that significance of that line, she's talking about how much money she's got. She's talking about her energy at the moment, and she's saying, I'm feeling like Bishop and Juice. Um, so she's referring to herself i think to say you know she is the queen sleaze she is a gangster she's getting to the money um she's feeling like bishop and juice and it's not a mistake that that is also a tupac reference and i think that's a very cool tupac reference in a very interesting way that um both asap ferg and nikki at this point have made references to pieces of iconic black cinema so love that Word to my dude, this Jimmy Choo on my shoes. So Jimmy Choo is a fashion luxury label. And Nikki is saying, word to my dude, you know, my man caught me these shoes. Um, and I love that. Now, the thing as well that I wanted to highlight here is that ASAP Ferg and Nikki are both big, big fashion people, you know, Ace, and I talked about that in my video about ASAP Ferg, but that's what I really like. And I really like that they both brought that on the running video as well. Now the next line, all of my is max. This is a fact, this ain't no cap. Um, so I really like the fact that she has made this reference because um, Nikki is Queen Sleaze, um, her husband is part of a group of gentlemen um, called the Max um, and these are friends of Nikki's and they, it, this reference to the fact that you know she's always with them, they're always on site, they're always ready to go. And the thing I like about this as well is that this is a continuation from the energy that she was bringing on Queen Radio because on Queen Radio she was saying, you know, men in the industry talking on her, ghost writers writing for other people, so male ghost writers writing for other people getting at her, men will see men, so her husband and the Max will be seeing you if you continue to disrespect Nikki. And given the fact that she is now with child and she's about to give birth, I don't think anyone should, um, you know, sleep on the fact that Nikki has a lot of people around her who are willing and ready to protect her. So don't go disrespecting the queen now. Um, this is a fact, this ain't no cap app. So this is reference to cap, um, which is the phrase, um, you know, no cap. So she's saying, this is a fact, I'm with the max, this is no cap. And can you just see the rhyme schemes? I mean, sometimes I don't 
taking time to explain the writing schemes because I feel like they should be obvious. But just so that we can do it and be thorough, let's go through Nikki's rhyme schemes. We got food, blues, juice, shoes, max, app, dad, bag. So you've got rhyme schemes on rhyme schemes on rhyme schemes and you know that you do because this is the queen and she's the queen of rap and I don't know how many times I have to say this, but we know what facts are. Um, and then she's got the hook, move my hips okay, tell him to go then I tell him to stay. Hey, baby, it's okay, I've been having one hell of a day, hey. And I think that's Barbie, that's gotta be Barbie, I love that. Um, I love it when she gets la 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 la. It's really nice, um, it's a good vibe. Um, uh, Saint Laurent all on my shades, then I pull up in the cherry Mercedes. Um, so she's saying, you know, she's got Yves Saint Laurent uh, so eye, eyeglasses and she's pulling up in that cherry red Mercedes. A reference to Swalla, um, I mean the cherry red forum with the brown guts. Uh, so shout out to Nikki and I uh, love that energy. Um, strawberry shortcake hair, Chinese bangs with my two braids, A. So she's referencing her iconic hairstyle and I do believe she's referencing the hair that she had in the run-in video as well. But she's just talking about, you know, the Chinese bangs. Um, so having the fringe, like the one that I have, inspired by her. Um, and strawberry shortcake hair, when she's got the pink and the yellow blonde hair, looking like strawberry shortcake, looking scrumptious. Um, and yeah, that was the hair she had in the run-in video too. Straight out of Queens, headed to Harlem now. So she's saying, you know, she's leaving Queens. So Nikki reps Queens, ASAP Ferg reps Harlem. They're both New York. So she's saying, I'm going over from Queens. I'm heading over to Harlem. And then ASAP Ferg responds, I got the panda mink on and it's growling now. So panda is a bear. He's talking about the fur, the bear fur that he's wearing is growling. Also, don't use animal fur. Save the animals faux fur only, please. Um, and then Nikki says already body playing Jane and we mobbing now. So Nikki's saying, you know, we're mobbing. We're getting into the ASAP mob vibes. You know, we body playing Jane. Now let's go mob. So she's talking about, look, we did that hit already. Now let's jump on this one, do another hit. Um, and then Nikki says, these bitches really be slow. Tell them I'm Billy the GOAT. I love that. She's referencing the greatest of all time. She's saying, you know, look at my legendary success in the music industry. I am the greatest of all time. Refer to me as such. And she said this in hard white. I'm the Billy Billy GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT's here. Barbie going bad. You asked for the GOAT, so they sent me sleaze. And future transformer, transform into a Billy because I really am the GOAT. So she's really saying that all... Um, all up in vogue, put on my Versace robe. Um, so Nikki is constantly wearing Versace. Um, Donatella sends her custom fits, if you didn't already know. This is custom made, Donatella sent me that. Um, and streaking my hair like I'm rogue is an X-Men reference to Rogue in X-Men who's got um, a white streak in her hair. So um, this is also a follow-up to when she made references to X-Men on Chun-Li when she said, I've been Storm, X-Men been formed. Um, and then the song ends after the hook again. So I loved it. I thought this was a really great song. I really loved the vibe from start to finish. I really enjoyed um, how they both brought that big New York energy. This is, not only is this a summer hit, but this is just like a, a rap hit. Um, I think this is a really, really good, good, good verse. And anyone who's still, I think anyone who's still sleeping on ASAP Ferg and Nikki linking up, you're missing out on a lot. Um, this is a great verse. This is hard. This is a summer song. I'm gonna be vibing this. I too want to be like the women in the artwork, wearing my bikini with my, my, my bum looking juicy. I want that. Um, so they're selling me a vibe, I'm buying it. This is a summer anthem. Um, and also, yeah, love the New York vibes. I love the, the the lyricism. They both brought bars and that's amazing. And yeah, shout out to ASAP Ferg. Check out my video that I did on ASAP Ferg if you want a bit of um, insight into like what I think about his music and also the time, the one time he came close, I think to bodying the queen on a verse on running. Um, so I really, really like um, ASAP Ferg's links up with Nikki. I think this is a great song. Shout out to Made in Tokyo. Um, shout out to the producer Frankie P who also produced a lot for ASAP Ferg. This was a great song. So yeah, shout out to ASAP Ferg and Nikki. Move your hips, stream, move your hips. Um, bar 
subs. Let's show ASAP Ferg that what you also get with Nikki is you get our support and they know what we do. They're all watching to see if we can do it again. So let's stream, let's buy, let's stream parties on deck. Stream, move your hips, buy, move your hips. Let's do this. Um, shout out to Nikki and ASAP Ferg. Um, so as always guys, it's no underscore ghostwriter on Twitter and Instagram for 24 seven rap and hip hop talk. And if you like this video, comment below. What do you think about move your hips? Do you like it? What are your favorite bars? Did you pick up on all the bars? Um, or are there anything that you picked up on that I didn't? Um, let me know in the comments and yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you want more. Uh, peace out guys. And I'll see you in the next video.